Hello children. In this video, we will learn about the parts of the human skeleton. The human skeleton consists of the skull, rib cage, backbone, limbs and girdles. Now let's learn about the skull. The bones in our head make the skull. The skull of an adult is made up of 22 bones. Of these, 8 form the upper part of the skull and are called cranial bones. The cranial bones protect the brain. The remaining 14 bones form the facial bones. The facial bones form the nasal cavity, enclose the eyeballs and support the teeth of the upper and lower jaws. The jaw bone is also a part of the skull. It is the U-shaped bone of the lower jaw. It is the largest and strongest bone in the face. Both the jaws have teeth embedded in them. The lower jaw bone is the only movable bone in the skull. The lower jaw is joined to the upper jaw. It helps us to move our mouth so that we can chew food. The next part we are going to learn is about the backbone. The skull is attached to the backbone. The backbone is also called the spine or vertebral column. It is made up of 33 ring shaped bones called vertebrae, which are linked together to form a vertebral column. It is flexible and helps us bend or twist. It protects the delicate spinal cord which runs through it. Rib cage. The ribs are curved bones which form a cage around the chest called rib cage. There are 12 pairs of ribs, all of which are attached to the backbone at the back. In the front, all except the two lower ribs Two pairs of lower ribs are attached to the sternum. The sternum is a long flat bone present at the center of the chest. As the last two pairs of ribs are not attached to the sternum, they are called as the floating ribs. The ribcage protects the heart and lungs. It provides a strong framework onto which the muscles of the shoulder girdle chest, upper abdomen and back can attach. It is flexible and can expand and contract. Limbs. There are two pairs of limbs in our body children. There are a pair of upper limbs which we call it as arms and a pair of lower limbs which we call as legs. Many bones come together to make our limbs. The upper limbs or arms are attached to the backbone with the help of shoulder girdle or pectoral girdle. There are 27 bones in our hands and wrists. The upper arm consists of a single long bone called the humerus. The lower arm consists of two long bones known as the radius and ulna. The bones of the lower limbs are or legs are attached to the bottom of the backbone with the help of the pelvic girdle. The upper part of the lower limb is made of the femur, which we also call as the thigh bone. This is the longest bone in the body. The lower leg consists of two long bones called the tibia and fibula. Many other small bones are present in the feet. Coming to the last part of the skeleton, that is girdles. There are two types of girdles in our body. Pectoral girdle, which is there in the shoulder region. And pelvic girdle, which is there in the hip region. The girdles help to join the limb directly to the vertebral column. They are fixed to the vertebral column and lie on both its sides. 
the pe pectoral girdle is made of the shoulder plate and collar bone the pelvic girdle is made of three bones which are fused together to form a single bone so children these are the parts of the skeleton thank you